In this problem, we're asked to sketch the graph of a function that has some given properties. Um, part of this, you know, it, there is more than one right answer to this question, first of all. Um, four conditions does not uniquely defi define um, a function. But whatever I draw down here on my graph paper it needs to conform to these four. So if I look at the graph, I should find that when I put in a 1, I get out a 1. So the point 1, 1 should be on the graph. In fact, let's put that on right away. When x is 1, y value needs to be 1 as well. So 1, 1 is a point on my graph. Um, and then the other three are limits. One of them is talking about what's happening as x gets close to 1. The other two are talking about what, x, what happens as x gets close to 3. So the other important uh, x value here is 3. And just looking at the uh, other information, as x gets close to 1, my y values need to get close to negative 1. So that's an important value on the y-axis. And um, near 3, the values that are important are the numbers 2 and 4. 4 would be up here, about there on my scale. And now I need to just basically read off what this each of these says and make sure that the graph I draw represents that piece of information. So this literally means as x gets very close to the number 1 but does not actually touch the number 1, my y values on my graph need to be very close to the value negative 1. So my graph, if I draw something in here and then start walking along my, along my graph, as I get close to the x value 1, which is right here on the x-axis, my y values need to be down here close to negative 1. So if I draw this, then my y values need to be getting close to the height negative 1 as I get close to 1. So you might think, let's just draw that right on through. but. Um, I do have to be careful all along here to make sure that my graph is a function. This particular graph already has a y value at x equal 1, so I can't allow it to have an x a y value down here um, different than the y value I already have. So I'm required to have an open circle on this one. And what I've really done so far then is ensured that as x gets close to 1 on the left side that my y values end up at negative 1. This notation means that whether x is getting close to 1 from the right or the left, my y values need to be negative 1. So that means I need to be getting close to this value from the right side as well. Now in terms of how did I know which way to draw this piece over here, um, the answer is I don't. Um, again, there are many different right answers here. This one works. You could have made this go down or go up. As long as I don't double back on myself and violate the notion that this is a function, um, this tail here can go anywhere I want. I've drawn this one very short on this side because I want to make sure that whatever I do at uh, x value 3 here, um, I have room to do it. I don't want to, again, I don't want to double over the graph. So this next piece says that as x gets very close to 3 from the left side, my y values need to be up very close to the number 2. So I need to end up right up in here someplace. I'm going to list this as an open circle for a moment. But the height of that open circle there is 2. And as my values come, as I approach the x value 3 from the left side, my y values need to get close to this value. So one way I could make this graph is just step it up like this. Again, I didn't have to. I could have had a sudden jump up to that value. But this makes sure that I only have one y value for each x value. This thing isn't going vertical. It's just fairly steep. All right. Now, should I fill that dot in? I can if I like. Uh, this. This does not tell me what the y value at x equal 3 is. So again, if I fill it in or leave it open, that's up to me. There's two possible right answers here. Um, unlike this other point, though, I don't want to connect up to the open circle from the right side. On the right side of 3, my y values need to be up close to the number 4. So I need to end up up here someplace and connect up to that like this. Now what you do with this piece is up to you, doesn't matter. 
and again I could fill that dot in or leave it open. Um, I could, just talking about what's going on at x equal 3 here, I can fill in this dot or that dot or put the dot someplace else, but I can't do more than one of those. If I select a y value, I can only select one. I'll just choose not to select any. That's also my option. And this then would be a